In this video, I'm going to quickly walk you through how digital downloads are handled by one of the plugins we're going to look at in more depth for shopping carts in general. It's called Jigo Shop, and it does do digital downloads. Now, there's not much in the settings for it. In this particular case, there's just this one possibility here of enforcing login for downloads. Now, unless you have a special need for it, you don't want to force people to be logged in when they download. They get their link in their email, they've got to log in in order to download. Pretty much you don't want to have to do that, but if you need to, this is where to do it. All right, so we're going to add a new product, and under product data here, we've got to choose from our drop down. The base is simple, right? That's the default setting. We drop it down, we choose downloadable, and once we do, you'll see a new tab gets created here. And it's where you upload your file. Now, in this case, you'll see it goes right into the uploads 2012. It's going right into the regular uploads folders. Now, some other plugins will actually put it in a special place, partly for security. In this case, it goes right to uploads. There is a download limit you can place on it here, just the number of downloads. There's no time expiry on the download link. You can't do any of that in JigoShop, but you can limit how many downloads. And in this particular case, I'm going to do it as one for this product, but I'm not live. These are screenshots, but I'll show you later what happens. All right, so let's go and purchase our product here. We get our thank you page. Now, if it was a pending payment from some other gateway or something, it would say pending processing and so forth. In this case, we're waiting for a check payment, but it should say when your check clears or when we receive your check, you'll get your download link. There's nothing like that, so it's not terribly user-friendly. The email doesn't help anymore. This is the email you get from the order being received. It hasn't been processed fully yet because, of course, the check hasn't come in. But you'll notice here there's really nothing to say. You'll get your download link once the payment clears. Okay, so you go into your orders in Jigo Shop. Now in orders, I'm not showing you the full screen here, but there is no indication at all that this is a downloadable product. There's nothing to say, you know, this is how many times it's been downloaded. There's nothing at all about downloads in here. So what I've done in this case is I've switched it now from processing to completed. And once I hit that completed and save it, then I get, the customer does, gets an order complete email. Now, finally, we do get our download link. And at least there's a bit of explanation there. So we grab our link, we go do our download. Remember, I've set it to just one download. Here's what happens if I try to do a second download using that link. Boom, says you've reached your limit. So that's the security feature on this. Remember, there's no way to set an expiry date on that link. If you wanted some sort of time frame, like one day, two days for them to download it, there's nothing like that. This is existing as long as that order stays in place and isn't deleted or anything. That download link will work forever until you reach the limit on the number of downloads. All right, so that's how digital downloadable products work on JigoShop.